Explained by the Billy Meyer contacts. Mysteries, myths, legends, conspiracy theories, historical inaccuracies, and more. Compiled by David Chance, revised October 18, 2023. Music and Sound Part 2 Contact Report 652 But you still sometimes spent the night here in my office at my computer and listened to music CDs, as I have noticed on various occasions. Yes, it was, but it was during our camps, which always arose when you were asleep. Contact Report 653 1944 from the end of the 1970s onwards, the drug problem will become more and more prevalent, as will the addiction to constant pleasure, which will be exacerbated by the emergence of destructive and disharmonious sounds, which will be mistaken for music, but which will badly affect the thoughts, feelings, and psyche, and cause diseases to decay. Contact Report 670 1948. This will take place especially from the 1980s when the new sounds of so-called music will fall completely out of kind and will no longer have anything to do with harmony and music because at this time a change to complete disharmony occurs in the consciousness of human beings which will also impair and damage the nerves as well as the entire cognition. In many human beings, these sounds will ruin the behavioral control system and call forth a negative transformation of information, which seriously damages the whole of the behavior in all who succumb to these disharmonious sounds. Everything will lead to the fact that many will be unable to cope with life and become aggressive unconcerned and out of touch with reality, which will extend to abandoning any sense of self-esteem and self-worth because the sense of life will be seen only in the disharmony of the sounds which work destructively on the consciousness. In many respects, this then leads to hardship and misery, as well as to the fellow human beings no longer being respected and only being met with highly unworthy unconcernedness and not being given any assistance when they are in distress and need help. To the contrary, everything will lead to the human beings, according to the disharmonic sounds, becoming disharmonious within themselves and owing to the complete unsatisfaction in regard to themselves becoming self-destructive and stunted in themselves. And this will also affect their behavior towards fellow human beings, with the relations with them breaking and their well-being being completely disregarded. As a result of indifference, this will result in the emergence of a radical malignancy which will be based in thoughtlessness, recklessness, neglect, lack of concern, unheedfulness, carelessness unconsiderateness, lovelessness, uncarefulness, imprudence, irresponsibility, and inattentiveness through which, in increasing wantonness, many fellow human beings will also be harmed, brutally maltreated, hit, robbed, and even beaten to death. Contact Report 703 According to neurological and psychological studies, the duration of the present is explained in such a way that the brain processes the present in units of about 2.7 seconds, whereby the everyday language term moment represents exactly this fact. Furthermore, studies suggest that three-second units are also important in poetry and music, for example when it comes to recognizing rhyme and rhythm. Contact Report 704 with regard to Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and Felix Mendelssohn Bartholdy, their entire evolutionary or progressive work relates to the general and very important influences of music on human beings, whereby the musical stimulation, impact and the scope of the effectiveness of the influence of music on human beings in relation to their forms of morality, 
ethos, ethics, and manners. And thus, of course, on their behavior, their lives, their shaping of life, and their conduct of life are of immense importance. What Sfath taught with regard to the importance of music was that the might of sound or music and its effect on human beings affects their whole life and is therefore also of great importance for their general development and education. Music has a very special effect on human beings, for the might of its tones sends out an invisible, vibratory energy and great power, which, among other effects, makes human beings who are even somewhat balanced, elated, happy, peaceful, joyful, psychically comfortable, but also melancholy, sad, thoughtful and inventive, etc., at which they are also able to do. Music is able to make people feel happy, peaceful, cheerful, psychically comfortable, but also melancholic, sad, thoughtful and inventive, etc., which they also consciously perceive and which also influences their consciousness. Thoughts, feelings, psychic world, accordingly. Furthermore, music also creates harmonious connections with fellow human beings, with nature, its fauna and flora, just as a harmonious state with creation, universal consciousness, or with the universe itself normally results. Human beings, however, who are averse to music and their own harmonious singing, feel very little, if anything, of all these harmonious values, which also promote personal inner peace and harmony. As a rule, such human beings are either pathologically disturbed and pitiable persons, or crassly selfish, misanthropic, petty, delusionally self-centered and self-important, indecent self-important individuals who think big and are hostile to correctness. If the origin of music is sought, then it is to be found in the creation of universal consciousness or in the universe itself, which emits an intrinsic sound event from the ground up which is based on swinging waves that have existed fundamentally since the origin of the universe, emanate from it, and can even be scientifically proven and measured in terms of sound, etc. These swinging waves emanate from the universe, or from the universe itself. These basic tones arising from the universe, or from the creation of universal consciousness itself, are the actual origin of all forms that have arisen in the course of time in nature which appear as tones and can be described as nature music. Very early on, human beings began to imitate many of these tones and made primitive songs out of them, just as they gradually made musical instruments out of the most primitive means, first of all in order to produce some kind of rhythmic sounds, as in the form of clapping their hands, but also by tapping stones, bones, and pieces of wood, etc., against each other. So it is no wonder or coincidence that music is an inseparable part of being human, like eating or sleeping. Music has existed since prehistoric times, ever since the universe, or rather creation, has had universal consciousness and emitted its own sound event. And it is also a fact that the Stone Age human ancestors made music with the help of the simplest instruments, as well as that music played an important role in every epoch of human history. Already through the human ancestors, a beat or basic beat or basic pulse was created in relation to music, which was already the case with the primeval songs and the music of the still primitive first human beings, and which led to continuous, uniform musical impulses from which harmonious rhythms developed in the course of time. The more balanced the human being is in terms of consciousness, thought, feeling, psyche, mind, reason, in relation to the constitution and positivity of morality, ethos, ethics, and custom, the more harmonious the musical rhythm must be for him. This is because in human beings who are negative and unbalanced in terms of the constitution of morals, ethics, ethics and morality, disharmonious tones and sounds have detrimental, inhibiting effects. I have found that everything about morality, Ethics and morality has a highly pejorative effect on the values of interpersonal relationships, general self-responsibility, external responsibility, and behavior. This, while everything that is good, positive, and correct in life is rotting in the abyss of indifference and oblivion. From the harmonious music, which unfortunately since about the 1980s has been polluted by an ever-increasing disharmonious ruckus, making human beings more and more indifferent, 
negative and unbalanced in terms of consciousness, feeling psyche mind reason, and with regard to a healthy constitution of morals, ethos, ethics, and morality, also result in principle, the creative natural laws and commandments. These connect the human being with the universe itself, which is, after all, the actual creative power and precisely the creation of universal consciousness, and thus the creation of all fine and coarse matter things and of all life, in a particularly consciousness thought feeling psychological way. Effectively harmonious music also promotes social cohesion and is able to charge the human consciousness, and thus also the thought feeling psychic world, with a valuable energy and power. Therefore, for every human being who is receptive to musical harmony, a life without music is simply unthinkable and detrimental to health, while on the other hand it is recognizable as a fact that those human beings who are addicted to disharmonic ruckus, which is confusedly and erroneously called music, are damaged in terms of consciousness, thought-feeling psyche, reason, and show tremendous deficiencies with regard to a healthy constitution of morals, ethos, ethics, and morality. Contact Report 708 It is an undeniable fact that in the majority of human beings on earth, an urge, an impulse and a drive for violence, vengefulness, a desire for revenge and the desire to kill are smoldering deep underground, which can break out at any time when the opportunity presents itself, whereby even a small, uncontrolled thought-emotional impulse can be reason enough for this. In the external sphere, it is other things that appear as triggers, such as alcohol, an order, drugs, jealousy, enmity, money, possessions, an unkind word, wealth, religious faith, other delusions of faith, music, hatred, envy, greed, sports enthusiasm, quarrels, bad moods, and much more. Contact Report 709 Even today, the death rune symbol is still popular as a false peace symbol, as well as a symbol in the music and fashion industry, although this symbol also causes great unrest there, especially since the mid-1980s, because since then the music, which until then had been mostly harmonious in many directions, has become completely disharmonious and even completely unmelodic discordant, impure, dissonant, unclean, and thus completely cacophonous up to the present day. And this is the case, as you once said, with regard to the shouting, howling, howling, and screeching of the so-called singers, as well as with regard to the instrumental clatter, droning noise, and deafening spectacle, if I may use your terminology once again. Contact Report 717 1947 uh, The main new direction will be one of protest against the renewed agitation by the USA against the Soviet Union which will be a lurking threat of war for the next 40 years. This is because the USA, in accordance with its traditional desire for world domination, wants to stage a war to defeat the USSR and bring it under its rule. However, this will be counteracted mainly by protest actions of the juveniles and young adults, from which a music protest will develop which will be oriented towards completely new harmonic, popular music or light music of different styles, and will be spread by mass media, such as Schlager, Song, musical and folklore, etc., and this musical protest will have a calming effect on the whole world population and prevent the warmongering of the state leaders of the USA from taking hold, as well as that those in power in the Soviet Union will not allow themselves to be seduced into the will and desire of the USA. The admonishing protests and the harmonious protest Music of the juveniles and young adults will lose their power after the beginning of the 1980s and will quickly give way to disharmonious noise that will sound badly together 
and beat the human beings into a bondage of disharmony without their being able to recognize and understand this. Everything will degenerate, especially if the harmonious protest music of the juveniles and early adults, as well as of the older people who musically emulate them, is displaced by disharmonious and destructive, discordant noise and nonsensical sham singing, whereby the factor of the breath of emotional life will be mentally disastrously impaired and the behavior of human beings will be directed accordingly. Contact Report 728 But the fact that Earth's humanity is also dominated by digital technology in an already catastrophic form and is in bondage is not noticed by its stupidity. Just as it is not noticed that it is not yet capable enough or evolutionized enough in relation to the use of this technology. This is because through digitalism, which is not mastered because it arose far too early, the earthlings have long since ceased to learn anything, but only fumble around on their apps etc., and consequently no longer make an effort to make something better of themselves. On the contrary, they are sinking into digitalism which offers them disharmonious noise, which is called music, but also all kinds of other nonsense and dumbed-down sham entertainment, but especially also religious sectarian aberrations that correspond neither to reality nor truth. Contact Report 770 Music and song of a harmonious manner mobilize the consciousness of the human being as well as the instinctual consciousness of mammals animals and all living beings in general, which unfortunately is not known to the majority of Earth humans. Music and song of a harmonious manner, as you know, since you have been instructed in this respect, produce in the human being beneficial hormones, which have an effect on a halfway good, or effectively good, as well as on the best developed character traits of the human being. In a certain larger mass of Earth humans, these character traits are usually to be measured with a halfway value, which means that these human beings are capable of and accessible to a thought-feeling psyche mood of peace, harmony, joy, and love. Consequently, they lead their thoughts, feelings, and psyche in a certain balance. This is because the consciousness of these human beings processes the harmonious sounds of music and song in a predominantly well-structured and equally calming way, as it also does unconsciously with the noises, sounds, and all the voices of nature. If, however, something disturbing breaks into this mood, it dissolves very quickly and lets the only half-baked good character traits surge up and break through everything negative. What you have said shows that in human beings, which I must now repeat, who have effectively worked out and developed good or best developed character traits in themselves, harmonious music and singing produce good hormones. This produces in them movements of thought, feeling, and psychology, which lead to a certain equilibrium. These human beings, as you explain, as a rule exhibit a halfway value of character, which, if I understand and interpret it correctly, corresponds to a halfway good value of character which in my opinion is inherent in a large part, even the majority of human beings, regardless of whether the human beings fall prey to a completely erroneous and confused belief in God, or whether they are devoted to the clear mind, sound reason, and constructive intellect. The reason for this, that no conscious and lasting control can be exercised over the half value of the very deficient character traits but immediately freaks out and violence, hatred, revenge, and all evil degenerations occur when something arises that does not fit into the personal thought-feeling psyche pattern, is that there is only a half value of good character traits and no control over them. If the human being rejoices in music and song and all kinds of harmonious things and allows emotions such as love, peace and equilibrium, etc. to arise in him, but does not have the strength to retain and control everything, when some mood-disturbing repugnance or aggressiveness arises, then inevitably the other and still negative, evil halfway value character side breaks through and creates evil outbursts, quarrels, 
hatred, revenge and violence, etc., because the good parts of the character are only half-heartedly and, as you say, Bermunda, only halfway developed. Consequently, they can be dominated by the other still unprocessed and evil parts of the character and be overpowered, ignored, abused, or simply ended, as is also the case with the halfway values of the character traits. It is inherent in all these human beings that they are accessible to a thought-feeling psyche mood of peace, love, joy, and harmony, and are also able to feel these values, to express the whole, and to live it, also in daily life and in dealing with fellow human beings, nature, and their life forms. And this results because the consciousness of these human beings absorbs the harmonious sounds of music and song in a predominantly well-structured and equally calming way. And through their swinging waves of their thoughts and feelings, they raise them to a state of psychological well-being. And they do this as long as they also do it in an unconscious manner with the noises, sounds, and all the voices of nature. In human beings, their halfway value character is good and right so far, but only until something disturbing breaks into the harmonious mood. For if there is even a slight disturbance or hindrance to the whole of love, peace, joy, harmony, open-mindedness and equilibrium, etc., then the halfway value character fades away very quickly, crashes, and makes the very hard-won and only halfway value good character traits surge up angrily or wrathfully. So you have also explained what I still wanted to explain, that music and singing of a disharmonious manner, discordant tones, discordant sounds, discordant singing and generally discrepant tones, sounds and noises cause chaotic states in the consciousness as well as in the thoughts, feelings and in the psyche of human beings, which have an uncontrollable and fanatical effect on the whole discrepancy and produce an inner disharmony. The whole thing has a damaging effect on the poorly developed character traits of human beings, whereby discord, unkindness, hatred, retaliation, and vengefulness, as well as lack of compassion, hostility, and dissatisfaction, and loss of harmony, etc., emerge as inevitable consequences. The whole of disharmony and its negative effects does not only apply to human beings, for the whole discrepancy of disharmonious manner of discords. Discords and discords, such as all-round discrepant tones, sounds and noises, etc., also have a general effect on animals, creatures, and all living beings. And when these are directly affected by such dissonant noise and ruckus, they consequently fall into forms of misbehavior and evil aggression, even become viciously degenerate, as is the case with those human beings who have made insufficient progress in their evolution of path values like the majority of Earth's human beings, as you have explained. When music and song are more profoundly defined, they present a great challenge to the consciousness, for the harmonious sequences of notes not only build up harmonious effects of a loving, free, peaceful, balancing, and righteous form, but they can also produce a training effect for memory. But, as you have explained very well, any harmony created in this way by music and song leads in human beings. If they are afflicted with only a halfway evaluation of their character traits and behavior, very quickly to fanaticism on the one hand, and to malignant effects on the other. And this results immediately when any real or apparent negative outside influences uncontrollably quickly disturb the harmony that has been brought about and consequently everything that has arisen in harmony suddenly collapses, whereby degeneracy, malignity, and violence break loose and mischief is wrought. The fact that music and song have a soothing, morale-building and creative effect in a melodic harmonic manner is due, among other things, to the fact that a great deal of information for building up ethics and morals is simultaneously presented from the entire abundance of harmony. Ethical prerequisites for the evaluative human thought-feeling psyche structure, as well as for relevant decisions and actions, emerge. Consequently, this also promotes methodical reflection with regard to morality, which results in specifically moral thinking, morally correct feelings, decisions and actions at the center of ethics, especially with regard to its justifiability and reflection. 
Consciousness must recognize the different melodies and pitches and parallelize them with each other, but at the same time it must also grasp the temporal sequence of the tones from which rhythms and the bars also result. But at the same time, the emerging tones must also be broken down into chords. The source of the sound and its type is also important, as is its position, because when music or singing is heard as a direct performance, Attentive and interested listeners should know if and where a particular musical instrument is being played and where it is located in the room. All this, when really listening to harmonic music, is equally important for the consciousness so that it can judge the whole abundance of harmony, tones, and sounds by measurement and comparison and ascertain them in their harmonic value. This corresponds to a task of the consciousness which must first be done, especially in the case of persons who make music themselves, in order to orient the understanding of harmony towards it, although it must also be understood that certain parts of the brain are occupied in the process, because various of these tasks require the right hemisphere of the brain for processing on the one hand, while others, however, can only be processed by the left hemisphere. However, this often results in the opposite for persons who are very strictly involved with music, which is, Excuse me, what do you mean by persons who are very strictly involved with music? Do you mean professional musicians, such as we have on earth, who earn their living with music? If so, then the question, do you also have such musicians? You probably call these persons like this. Yes, that is the meaning of my statement. And yes, we also cultivate music in this manner and conduct studies of musical doctrine and that I can explain everything to you for your understanding, I am able to do that because through my musical education, I am just as well versed in the basics and forms of music, as well as in the theory of composition, and also in the measures and time and notation through my studies, as also in the naming of tones, rhythm, the keys and tone levels, etc. In persons, which I mentioned earlier, who are very strictly involved with music, the left and right hemispheres of the brain often work in the opposite way to persons who are not very involved with music themselves or who are only listeners. However, as far as the working forms and working methods of the left and right parts of the brain are concerned, I do not want to consider any particular elaboration in this respect, but only to return to the subject I have begun, namely music. If I may say so, musicians' brains differ from the brains of non-musical human beings. In persons with musical brains, their areas are strongly developed in terms of analysis and lead to special connections between the hands and hearing. In musician brains, the areas that link the activities of the hands with those of hearing and analyzing are particularly strongly developed. On the one hand, this results in various activities when playing music which create permanent changes when listening to music. Music also creates new connections between the nerve cells, which are stored and maintained in the musician's brain as a whole. For a musician's brain, music is a great challenge, despite its ability to store music harmonies, but it does have an effect on music and harmony memory in a constantly training manner so that it continues to develop and does not fade away. This comes about because music in its abundance is made up of pure musical information, which the musical brain recognizes as pitches and melodies and compares and orders them. In addition, the music brain is also able to classify emerging tones and chords at the same time, whereby the position and the type and location of the sound source in the musical space is also determined through an abundance of measurements and comparisons. The temporal sequence of the tones is also recorded and likewise classified, whereby the bars and rhythms are also logically structured. The musical brain naturally has first and foremost the important task of dividing the left and right hemispheres of the brain, although passionate musicians often have this division explicitly the other way round than non-musicians, just as musical brains also differ in other ways from the brains of musical human beings. Music making and music listening activities change the brain, and in a manner that is permanently permanent. As a result, it is perfectly natural that any new circuitry created by music in the brain, and likewise by the nerve cells, 
will remain with the human beings for life. Furthermore, harmonious music changes the heartbeat. Blood pressure, breathing rate and muscle tension of human beings in a positive manner, as well as influencing the hormonal balance and the sounds also have a positive effect on the adrenal glands and pituitary gland. Depending on the type of harmonic music, different hormones are also released, such as adrenaline in the case of fast and aggressive music, while norepinephrine is released in the case of soft and calm sounds, which, for example, leads to a reduction in stress hormones, which also leads to a strong increase in beta endorphins in the body, which have a pain-controlling effect. Classical and other harmonic forms of music can therefore effectively alleviate pain, which means that every good harmony can also be used in music medicine therapy. And this is especially true with regard to effective pain treatments, as well as successfully with regard to psychological and psychic problems, as well as with regard to any harmonious relationship between human beings. As you know, and as you always strive for, as I know, for the melodically minded human being, harmonious music or making music oneself is very restful, peace promoting, morale balancing, calming and love promoting, as well as rehabilitating with regard to geriatric or geriatric medical problems concerning physical as well as social and consciousness related aspects and the care of acute and chronic illnesses, especially in the early rehabilitation and prevention of old persons. If I understand correctly, your explanation means, in other words, that you mean a special music medicine discipline for older human beings. And if I also understand your further explanation correctly, then the whole thing is directed from harmonic music effects to physical, social and consciousness aspects, and in such a way that everything is directed as precaution and care for early rehabilitation and prevention in relation to acute and chronic given or possibly emerging illnesses, precisely directed to human beings standing at a higher age. Yes, that is correct, and it is amazing how precise and better you explain it than I did, but I am not surprised. What remains to be explained, however, is the following. Harmonious music acts on the consciousness of human beings like a fountain of youth, namely as well-formed and healthy swinging waves, which have a love effect as well as a peace-promoting, balancing, and exhilarating effect on the consciousness and the bioresonance, whereby new nerve circuits are formed. This, then, in a positive manner, whereas poorly formed, disharmonious sounds correspond to a changeable, inconsistent mixture of banging waves, which, as lovelessness, peacefulness, and balancing disturbance, burden and demolish the psyche deeply underground, which, however, is not perceived by the human beings. This is because, as a result of their pathologically consciousness conditioned and psychologically limited as well as very deformed, selfish, barren, and extremely excessively abnormal disharmony perception, they are unable to grasp any effective harmony as such. Human beings addicted to any form of disharmonic perception lack the faculty of sensual perception of effective harmony in every respect, that is, not only in relation to music, but in general in every respect. Consequently, they are accompanied in their existence by noises of disharmony, which they pathologically imagine to be harmony, thereby falling into pathological false enthusiasm, illusory joy and rapture, without being able to consciously grasp, identify, without being able to consciously grasp, understand, and perceive that they are not enjoying effective musical harmony, but rather are enjoying a self-deceived illusory joy, an illusory enthusiasm for disharmonious sounds that damage the psyche and the consciousness. According to our research, since the mid-1970s, but especially since the mid-1980s, such blatant musical disharmonies have arisen on Earth, to which mostly young and middle-aged human beings have become addicted and have been able to maintain and spread until today. And as our research proves, this will also continue for a long time into the future, as a result of which these harmful and morale-destroying noises will increasingly and dangerously spread to the majority of earthly humanity. This, however, 
has for some time been leading to discontent in various strata of the population, as well as to discord and anarchy, which is already unmistakably spreading and having just as destructive an effect on the ethics and morals of human beings as the false peace symbol. The death rune, as you have been trying to make this fact known for years. I wanted to say something in a similar sense, but also that the completely disharmonic noise pollution releases low-frequency sound emissions, especially through infrasound, that is to say frequencies that are below the human hearing limit. These frequencies put a total strain on the human brain, and thus inevitably also damage the consciousness, as a result of which intelligentum, understanding and reason, are impaired and hindered in their function. Yes, indeed. Svath has already explained this to me in detail, and taught me that the human being is exposed to low-frequency sound emissions every day, whereby many factors play devastating roles and burden the human being. The most evil forms in this respect result from consciousness burdens that arise from religious and sectarian faith of human beings, namely on the one hand, through a conscious or unconscious perception, seeing, looking at, hearing, feeling or sensing of any religious things, signs, pieces of jewelry, books, buildings or noises, such as the sound of church bells, music, prayers, speeches and sermons, etc., etc., all these factors and many others in addition, lead in human beings to the unconscious switching off of intellect, understanding and reason, and thus also of the clear thinking faculty, which leads to the building up and breaking through of a faith, which also brings the controlling faculty to a standstill and replaces it with many kinds of uncontrollable emotions of negative, malignant, as well as positive, benign forms. This results in thought-feeling psyche excitations, which uncontrollably expand from overflow of love, affection, harmony, attachment and peace, etc., but to strife, discord, strife, disharmony, hatred, violence, slander, war, terror and murder, and otherwise to all that is evil, base and degenerate. It is also to be noted that in all earthly technology of any kind, there are as yet no instruments and apparatuses, etc., which will remain so for a long time to come, with which these low-frequency sounds, which work underground in human consciousness and cause many kinds of discomfort, could be perceived and registered. As a rule, the profound noises are also accompanied by further low-frequency secondary sound vibrations, imperceptible to the human senses, from the most diverse noises, which are capable of exerting harmful effects on the consciousness of human beings, which they are unable to control as a result of their ignorance and inability to perceive as well as their lack of self-control, as a result of which they behave to the point of degeneracy. Exactly, and these degenerations correspond to bad behavior and unsightly conduct, bad and evil habits, malice, insults, falsehoods, as well as lying, deceit, and slander. In addition to all these excesses, however, there are also immoralities, further unpleasant misbehavior and impertinences as lasting consequences, such as hatred, quarrelsomeness, disgracefulness, weaknesses, violence, malignant character excesses of various kinds, as well as vice, insolence, mischief, vices, and immoralities. Also to be mentioned are naughtiness, shameful naughtiness, boorishness, aggressiveness, religious sectarian delusion of God, delusion of God and its degenerations, political delusion, addiction to power, dictatorship, despotism, criminality and crime, ultimately also murder and manslaughter, torture, rape, pedophilia, slavery, prostitution, genocide, hatred of nations, persecution of faith, war and terror, etc. The noise pollution resulting from low-frequency sound emissions especially infrasound, is increasingly causing the majority of Earth humans, as we have established through our long-term and very extensive research in this regard, widespread damage in relation to all conceivably possible wrong behavior, in which human beings are increasingly falling into many kinds of degrading degenerations, as a result of which their anarchistic unworthiness is also increasing, 
as are constantly new nonsensical, arbitrary, thoughtless and stupid state laws, regulations and ordinances, which are being devised and enacted in particular by power-obsessed and, moreover, faith-religiously biased people in positions of state leadership, and which are being devised and enacted for the restriction of freedom, strict control, and chastisement of the populations. So we should stick to our topic and perhaps explain for those human beings who do not know what infrasound is all about, that it is a matter of airborne sound waves which are to be placed below the human hearing range and therefore cannot be perceived by the ears, but which unconsciously affect the human being positively or negatively through the consciousness and consequently also unconsciously, subconsciously and in various forms, ways and manner. And these influences are not controlled by the human being, as a result of which he also does nothing against them if they subconsciously deform his character, and he is thereby also impaired with regard to his intellect, his understanding, and his reason, as well as with regard to his behavior and his perception of effective reality and its truth. This is also one of the various reasons why he becomes a believer who is alienated from the world, or even alienated from reality. As a rule, then, in particular, religious sectarian as a believer in delusions of God. But now I should comment on what you said concerning the disharmonic noises that are called music and singing, and are frenetically cheered by many devotees, although there is no question of harmonious tones and sounds and real singing, but only of terrible disharmony, and... Which runs through one's marrow and leg, and corresponds to nothing other than a demoralizing yowling howling and roaring, rustling, banging, crashing, hissing, crackling, howling, splashing, crunching, wheeling, clamoring, sonic chaos, tumult, hellish noise, shrieking, screaming and spectacle as well as everything that nips any joy, peace, balance and harmony in the bud. The whole of this catastrophic disharmonic noise which is falsely called modern music, as well as the disharmonic yowling, which is considered modern singing and which mainly inspires and freaks out countless adolescents and middle-aged people. All this, in my estimation, shows how demolished in terms of consciousness and psychology these human beings are. All the discordant noise, which they believe to be music and song in their noise delusion, causes them to atrophy in their character, also in connection with their god delusion as well as in their dignity, honor, ethics, and morals. Consequently, at every suitable and unsuitable opportunity, they suddenly snap viciously, become abusive, abusive, mean and violent, whereby revenge, retribution, strife and hatred break loose in them, just as suddenly, lie, deceit, and slander break loose from them, whereby unhesitatingly, murder and manslaughter as well as war and terror are also part of their whole métier. But these human beings who indulge in all the above-mentioned degenerate noises, which they falsely believe to be music and song, indulge in them and falsely estimate all their disharmonies as harmony, as well as degenerate in the manner, as you have just explained, are addicted to serious psychological disorders. From this also arise in them serious disturbances of character formation, which ultimately take the form of degenerating and violent character traits, which cannot be controlled and consequently lead to evil mischief. In the final analysis, these and those disturbances in the life processes in organs or in the whole body organism result in the course of time, with the consequences of subjectively felt and or objectively ascertainable physical changes or changes affecting the consciousness and thus also the thoughts feelings and the psyche, from which not only a life behavior alien to reality can result, but ultimately also suicide. What is still to be explained in relation to all that I have been talking about with regard to music is that harmonic tones and sounds, etc., are effective forms of harmonics. Are effective forms of harmony, in contrast to all disharmonic noises, such as those which you very aptly formulate as howls, Howls and shrieks in which, against all reality, are claimed to be singing, as that which has been called modern music on earth for some time now, 
which in reality does not correspond to music, but only to an instrumental disharmonic ruckus and wheeling spectacle, as well as a discordant female and male shrieking, wailing, 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 and clamoring. Contrary to today's terrible modern unmusical disharmony riot, what is called instrumental music on earth, as well as the wailing and shrieking arias, which is supposed to be singing, it is to be said that neither the one nor the other corresponds to any harmony. A harmony, on the other hand, corresponds to an order of sounding together of several harmonically structured tones. In the case of a tone, it is a matter of uniform and unified oscillations. In the case of a sound, several tones sound simultaneously, which overlap, which can be perceived as a vertical, that is to say, temporal component of balance and equilibrium and precisely as music, in contrast to the horizontal, that is to say, temporal components of melody and rhythm, which are perceived as recognizably swinging and perceptible in terms of vibrations. The actual teaching of harmony, however, is to be defined as the systematic comprehension of a chordal structure in relation to a tonal sound space, whereby methodical instructions in tonal composition require a unifying and, as far as possible, error-free handling of the sound combinations in the sense of the traditional specification of music within the corresponding tonal epoch. In addition to all this, the actual subject of harmony is that, in addition to the structure of the chords, the sound connections in particular are formed into musically logical sequences. When considering the harmony of a piece of music, the whole of the leading triads of a scale must be considered and defined, as well as the main and secondary triads and the cadence. Only then is it possible to recognize which chords belong to the corresponding piece of music. If musical harmony is observed and analyzed in human beings in everyday life, then a positive effect can be recognized in them when they react to harmony, whereby the harmony of music creates a harmonious relationship in them through individual chords to each other. The superordinate term harmonics stands for the harmony of tones, for the so-called vertical component of music. The chords consist of major triads as main triads, whereby the second, third, and sixth degree are composed of root, minor third and fifth, and thus correspond to minor triads, that is to say secondary triads, such as... Excuse me, Bermunda, I do not think it is necessary to explain all this, because it would be going too far, and what you have explained so far should be enough. Besides, I know this much that music and harmony actually also have a fundamental pedagogical significance, even though many other things, subjects and values in daily life are given priority in the curricula, because human beings consider them more important than consciously integrating music and harmony into daily existence. And the fact is that music and harmony have helped me a lot in my life. And it was only thanks to them that I survived a nasty mental breakdown in my marriage when all the terror had gone over my head, with Sim Yase saving me from the worst at the last moment. At the same time, I practiced singing, as I have always done in my life, and also let my musical vein be heard on the radio once in Baghdad, but it was actually in my life that my social skills increased to such an extent that I was able to create a calm, aggression-free climate within myself. This has made me free and open, without fault or quarrel with everything and everyone and with human beings, my work, nature and its fauna and flora, so that I have learned to deal with all situations that arise in such a way that I do not have to blame myself, and can also perceive my fellow human beings, all life around me and in the great outdoors, etc., with alert attention, as it effectively is. This also enables me to constantly train my motivation and concentration in relation to my work, as well as my aging memory, which is not as sharp as it used to be. But I would like to say that music and harmony are still an immediately rewarding experience for me when everything sounds correct and is also beautiful, if you can call music and harmony beautiful. I still remember that Svath said that real music and harmony prevent the degradation of nerve cells in the brain as human beings grow older and even form them more strongly, whereas, on the contrary, disharmonious instrumental noise as well as human, 
howling and howling, etc., would already cause a degradation of nerve cells in the brain in current life and cause damage to consciousness and even lead to addictive behavior. I can confirm that because all parts of the brain that are aligned in relation to hearing and forming sounds are explicitly stimulated by true harmonics of music and singing and are thereby also moved and trained as well as actively maintained, whereby especially the harmonic acoustic subtleties powerfully influence and stimulate the memory, whereby in this respect especially harmonic singing is of enormous effectiveness. Contact Report 836 Therefore, he or she, the earthling, the human being, also does not know that actually the alembracing being depends on swinging waves, as also on sounds resulting from them. The sun, as the authoritative celestial body of the system, orders the distance of planets away from it in its system area by means of swinging waves and sounds. But unfortunately it is so that today everything is forgotten concerning the swinging waves and sounds. Only in Asia the whole thing is still cultivated to some extent, unfortunately religiously in the form of OM and mandalas, etc. The actual value, however, is no longer known. The actual value, however, is no longer known. Consequently, the whole thing has probably spread worldwide. But the knowledge of the value of the sounds has been lost. The fact that everything is actually nothing other than what I call cosmic music which also corresponds to human beings and influences and shapes them in terms of their attitudes, behavior, and character, is perhaps known to only a few of the scientists who deal with it accordingly. However, 2600 years ago Pythagoras again recognized the value of sounds, but not in the sense of what is actually behind them. But today, some clever scientists may be thinking about it. The swinging waves and sounds of music are much more for human beings than just entertainment, etc., because they can also be used, for example, for certain work purposes of which human beings may have assumptions but no knowledge. But the swinging waves and sounds of music also determine the equalizedness, balance, unbalancedness, life positivity and evenness as well as life affirmation, etc., of the human being. As on the other hand, However, also his or her character and manner of acting with regard to all the unvalues of life, depending on the harmony or disharmony of the sounds. With regard to the favorable or unfavorable swinging waves and sounds that is to say the harmony or disharmony of the music, which the human being perceives as good or bad, the whole forms his or her manner of thinking and attitude, and the course of their behavior, activity and character, as well as their corresponding life. Consequently, the swinging waves and sounds of music also reveal who and what the human beings truly are. If the history of swinging waves and sounds, and thus of music, is fathomed, then its original form can be recognized in the existence of the creation of all things, to which it can be said that practically everything and everything has arisen from its origin in a vibrational melodic state and has remained constant in might. If the music of human beings from ancient times and today is considered, which was already practiced in very ancient times through singing and the most primitive musical objects, etc., especially from the Middle Ages, which is to be calculated approximately from the 9th to the 14th century, with minstrel singing and Gregorian chant, then the Renaissance from the 15th to the 16th century, and from this then approximately 150 years later with the Renaissance. If you look at the period from the 15th century to the 16th century, then about 150 years of the Baroque period, followed by about 80 years of the Classical period, which was then followed by the period of the so-called Romantic period, which lasted about 70 years and was then replaced by the Modern period, which began around 1900, from which modern music, Schlager, contemporary music, etc. emerged, just as contemporary music is commonplace all over the world today, then it all adds up to something very astonishing. Little by little, since the second half of the last century, types of music have developed which are so bursting with disharmony and are cheered frenetically, intoxicated, and fascinated by masses of listeners of both sexes. Although this music has nothing to do with harmony and real music. 
It is frightening to realize and perceive how the human beings who adhere to this disharmony, usually younger and young, live in their own emotional disharmony. How they are also in their behavior, character traits, life interests, their humanity, in their lack of responsibility and education, and so on. And these human beings, despite their inexperience and stupidity, are to lead Earth's humanity into the future, possibly even as rulers. Already many crooked elements from the generations born before these fanatics of disharmonious swinging waves and sounds, the so-called modern music, and who are now in the governments, prove that they have become completely unfit in every respect. They are incapable of managing their own lives correctly, let alone leading the peoples and creating peace and freedom instead of war, misery and injustice. Well, it took until the 20th century for the era of good music to dominate the senses of human beings. In total, however, there are about 1,400 existing types of music, which are fundamentally different from each other, but from which the genre that is to say the essence that is to say the character can all be crystallized. Swinging waves and sounds that is to say music, that is what I am talking about, with regard to human-made music, is actually a means that produces the most diverse emotional effects, ranging from elation to destruction and murder. All this has come about more and more in the course of time and development, mainly due to the strong and uncontrolled emergence of military armies and of religions, which should be abolished as soon as possible, because if these would finally disappear, then the first step would be taken towards finally striving for peace and freedom. The run-up to this did not begin with Christianity for military hordes and religions already existed earlier. But with the advent of Christianity, everything became much worse, which then turned into degenerations of all kinds. Then came also the continuation of the same through Islam. Consequently, the religious delusions and rites, etc., expressed themselves, still changing, into another religion. Contact Report 839 Note Billy On the 9th of May, 1964 I wrote the poem in Mirjava, Persia, for Nadia, whom I loved. I built a house by the river, but nature won and erased everything. The river swept away the shore, took all my possessions, love and dreams, they sank in the flood. By a deadly rain the stream became a grave, for Nadia's short life a wet coffin. When my book of poems 61 Years of Poems was printed in 2003, the era quake unfortunately crept into the poem instead of rain. I sent this poem to a man I met in Quetta of West Pakistan in Germany, and a song was made out of it without my knowledge entitled Manuela, whom I loved, which was then warbled by Freddie Quinn. Contact Report 847 These do not it is true, contain records relating to the universal frequencies, through which alone materials and spacecraft be, nor are there any records relating to the frequencies of 110 hertz and high above, still mysterious to Earth humans, through which it is also and what is in M. -E. Nevertheless, Svath explained many things to him, Pythagoras, whereby I remember that he also told him as he also told other greats during our trips to the past, that all the planets in the solar system had their own music, to which he explained to me that he meant frequency. But that, he said, was not understood by the earthlings at that time, which is why he said music. All the planets in the vastness of the universe also had their own music, precisely frequency. He taught the people we were visiting. Also when we were in Tahitwan, or whatever the name of the city was, Svath said, and very explicitly, that I should keep silent for my whole life about what it is about the... And so I think that when I recall our conversation, I only put dots for all that which should not be said, because at least at the present time it would not be good to say this openly. After all, enough mischief will be done in the future by the invention of artificial intelligence, which is why I think as Svath also said at the time, that it would not be very beneficial for the earthlings and their future and continued existence 
if they were to research and recognize the secrets of the effect and, and then implement them. He also said that and would. Furthermore, I then saw, together with him of course, what mischief would ensue in the future anyway if the earthlings, of their own ingenuity of invention, were to stumble upon it and make it all. This, however, much later than at the present time, will still be future music, which I shall not live to see. And still they fly. Page 28. Guido Musbrugge. For us Earth people, music of the errands would sound very strange, but, on the other hand, it would be so harmonious and enrapturing that we would not be able to withstand it very long. The yearning for this harmonious state will grow to overwhelming proportions within us. For this reason, Billy was not permitted to bring back any music from Planet Era when he stayed there once on a visit. He did explain to us that we have three musical pieces on Earth that are somewhat similar in harmony to the Pleiadian music. These pieces are the Bolero by Maurice Ravel, the Valkyrie Ride from the Valkyrie, an opera by Richard Wagner, and the chorus of prisoners from the opera Nabucco by Giuseppe Verdi. Other than that, their composers use completely different instruments from ours. Arahat Athersada, pages 408, 410. The expression factor of the spirit that exists in the earth human being are his or her consciousness and his or her psyche, which they erroneously designate as the soul. Through them, all creational activity and workings become recognisable in the material realm of the human beings. This was known at all times by the founders of religions and their subsequent representatives, which is why they have from time immemorial also endeavoured to address, in their cultish and delusional leading activities, actions, utterances and deeds, the consciousness and the psyche of the earth human being him or herself because solely through them can the earth human being be influenced towards anxiety and horror. A perfect means of help for this influencing was, and is since time immemorial, the utilisation of the music, one of the noblest works of colourful and formative art which is known to the earth human being. It uplifts both thoughts and speeches, sayings and instructional or delusional leading words in an interaction in euphoric, depressing or even in high values. In particular, however, the organ music, etc. brought to use by the Christian religion creates very edifying effects of the joy and the love which, in religious connection, leads to malicious dependency, submissiveness, as well as to fanaticism and euphoric delusional guidance. Figu Forum, your questions to Billy Meyer answered. Savio. It was mentioned that some higher flora lives are driven by impulse instinct spirit forms, while general lower evolved or elementary plants are driven by cosmic electromagnetic life energy. If lower evolved plants, such as vegetables and flowers, are driven by cosmic electromagnetic life energy without spirit forms, is there any reason that some good music or good will can lead to fruitful results on vegetables and flowers. Higher flora lives are those plants that are developing, evolving to animal forms. Everything can be influenced by music towards good or bad effects depending on the music. The best effect on plants by good classic music. Figu Forum, your questions to Billy Meyer answered. Technod, would it be out of line to ask the friendlies more advanced beings for a new sound recording, preferably something that would help us understand discordant negative sound compared to a healthy positive sound, or perhaps you have a small explanation of the talk of Earth's music being unsatisfactory. No, it would not be out of line. However, the Pleiaren won't deliver a new sound recording. Well, anyone with a healthy psyche can detect for himself whether or not a sound music is discordant. Figu Forum, your questions to Billy Meyer, answered Scott. There is a 14-year-old boy living on the east coast of the U.S. named Jay Greenberg who is considered a musical prodigy. He started writing music notation when he was only three years old. Since then, he has written five symphonies. 
He has mentioned that he hears sometimes two to three pieces of music in his mind at the same time. He states he never needs to make corrections when composing his music because it seems to come to him as a finished piece. Is he receiving these musical pieces, compositions from impulses from the Akashic records, or is it something else? He must have been able to tap into a certain frequency in the storage banks, not Akashic records. Figu Forum, your questions to Billy Meyer, answered. Solar. As a young child, sometimes I had strange experiences. When I was lying calm in bed, or when I was hearing beautiful music, sometimes something strange happened in my body. It felt like something started moving in my body, in the region of my solar plexus, up and down, and for a moment I felt like I was drunk. But that sensation usually lasted only for a short time before a new sensation appeared. And this sensation was always incredible for me. It feels like my consciousness suddenly appears in every piece of my entire body. In this state, I could feel very strongly every piece of my body, and this was always very pleasant and deep sensation. That happened sometimes to me when I was a child. But now I am adult and have discovered that I can trigger this sensation when I am very calm and focus my attention in the region of my solar plexus. Can you help me to understand what am I doing? Is there something wrong with me? No, there is nothing wrong with you. What you are experiencing is harmony, and what you felt in your solar plexus region is, was your psyche. It is beneficial to continue with your exercises. Concentration is meditation. Figu Forum, your questions to Billy Meyer answered. Sola, I would like to ask you about so-called gifts or talents. If a young child possess at a very young age extraordinary skills in music, art, science, math, etc., then religious people claim that these are holy spirit gifts or God gifts. On the other hand, our scientists claim that this is nothing more than genetic mixture inherited from intelligent parents. So I would like to ask you, if these gifts are really genetic-based, or is it perhaps a knowledge from previous lives? In other words, if I learn very hard in my lifetime, for example math, does it mean that this knowledge will somehow come back to me in my next incarnations? Several influences may be responsible for such skills, genetic reasons, but also impulses from the storage banks. Another influence can be a sickness, like for example autism or even schizophrenia. Figu Forum, your questions to Billy Meyer, answered nobody. In the recent contact translations I read how the stress form from the mission almost caused you to quite quit. How was it when you were going through so much stress that you were able to maintain a neutral positive state that would allow the Plyaren to safely visit you? Christian Frene. All right. Belly concentrated on his duty, and he was listening to simple music played very loud for hours. Figu Forum, your questions to Billy Meyer answered. Memo Z Zero. I would like to know if there exists a relationship between the colors that we see and the 12 musical notes used in Western music. Something like when certain birthdays are associated with colors and stones. Yes, there exists a relationship. There are people who can hear colors, and other people can see musical notes. Figu Forum, your questions to Billy Meyer, answered. Memo zero zero. I would like to know what is more important to determine if some music has a positive or negative effect on a person, the music itself sounds, or the lyrics words. For example, we have Mozart's Requiem Mass. The music is good, but the lyrics are just religious bullshit. And the same with Gregorian chants and many other kinds of music. What really matters is the overall impression, the harmony, the voices and the sound. The words are not as important. Figu special bulletin 20 A and Figu special bulletin no coberty A and. The human brain also has still other noteworthy important factors at its disposal besides the pineal gland. As for example, the early warning system, which is situated near the frontal lobes, 
in the anterior cingulate cortex region of the brain, named ACC for short. It is this region of the brain which then becomes active when, for example, there is a difficult decision to make, as when, among other things, a decision must be made between two contradictory alternatives. However, ACC also warns the human of threatening or emerging dangers, which are only perceived with the sense of perception, and consequently do not penetrate into the consciousness as a direct warning factor. A further factor is that which relates to the awareness, by means of the sense of perception, of sounds which do not emerge as coarse material effects, and can also not be observed as coarse matter, rather as infrasound, as is emitted, for example, by large animals or earthquakes, and so forth. Infrasound is actually also the origin for some unexplainable phantoms which, for example, come about as a result of the wind whistling through holes, through rock crannies, through chimneys or cracks, and so forth, and producing extremely deep tones which cannot be registered by the human's hearing. However, which vibrations affect the human's body, and naturally also the pineal gland, and release certain effects in a fine material form, which are observed through the sense of perception. F. Billy said in July 2018 in response to a question on this subject that there is a thoroughly realistic connection between the so-called divine tone, that is to say the creative tone, and the so-called 432 hertz music. Note, see this commentary on the history of tuning frequencies and a comparison between 432 hertz and 440 hertz tuning. Open letter to all human beings of Earth. 5th of July, 1951. Open letter to all human beings of Earth. 5th of July, 1951. Already at the end of the 50s, human beings, particularly the young, will begin to lead a life which is often only aligned with drugs, and then later, when the time of the 80s approaches, the drug problem will take the upper hand, whereby only pleasure will be meaningful, and destructive and dissonant sounds will characterize the world of music, whereby the psyche will be impaired, and the entire behavior of those human beings who align themselves with this destructive type of music will succumb to negativity.